Domenico Crescito. He came, he played 16 games, he scored one goal, it was an MLS School of the Year contender, and then he left. Crescito has retired after just one short half season stint with Toronto FC. Now, the guy came at the age of 35, that's about prime retiring age for a footballer, and we all knew that probably at best we were only going to get one and a half seasons out of him. So, Kushida retiring at the end of the season, well, disappointing isn't surprising. And I mean, the guy came to TFC and he did exactly as advertised, which is pretty much what all the Italians did in the second half of TFC last season. He brought some extra solidity to the fullback position, he brought experience to the team, he scored a great goal, but like with Bernadeschi and Insigne, just his presence wasn't enough to write what was a sinking ship. And especially for Koshito, despite being great in the left back position, he on his own was nowhere near enough to shore up Toronto's defensive problems. But now he's gone from professional football as a whole, not just from Toronto FC, and it leaves TFC in a bit of an interesting predicament. Because Crescito was part of bringing the Italians in mid-season, which while being a like push for the end of last season to try and make the playoffs, I think we all knew that that was a move for this coming season. All the Italians are specifically for TFC being a competitive team in the 2023 season. And now you come in, you bring Crescito in, and then have him leave before that 2023 season comes, and now we're in a bit of a pickle. With Crescito gone and then Luca Petrasso also sold, we're down to zero left backs. So our only real remaining fullback, I think Caden Chun's still in the team, but like he fell out of the radar in the second half last season. But the only real fullback that we have that was like regularly playing in the second half of last season that's on the team is Richie Larea, who is on loan ending in July. So What's going on in the fullback roles for this team is now a big question mark is now we need just a bunch of them. We need like four more fullbacks to have a team. <laughs> add that to the need for center backs, add that to the need for midfielders, add that to the need for strikers. There's a lot of needs that Toronto FC has this season and losing Crescito just creates another need which is a starting left back. We had so many needs for this offseason that we really didn't need another hole to appear in the starting 11, but here it is, Crescito is gone. Adding to that, I know I've talked about this move already a couple times and when he was loaned out and then Amanda season roster moves, but Jacob Schaffenberg finally was officially sold to Nashville of Nashville activating the buy clauses as loan deal, but that's nice because it gives TFC another $300,000 general allocation money for next season, adding in the $300,000 they got from Luca Petrasso. That's already now from this short off season, an extra $600,000 of general allocation money that's been added to this roster, which could go a long way to filling out a hole like the left back hole that's been left by Crescito. So really all this Crescito move is, is it's now another hole in the starting lineup that Toronto FC needs to plug for next season. And really, this is a very interesting spot for TFC to be in because you have Bernadeschi and Insigne. So just with those two, the goal is to compete for an MLS Cup. I mean, you have probably two of the most talented offensive players in the league, two of the most talented offensive players on the continent. So with them, you can't just be not pushing for a playoff spot, especially if the money you're paying them. So you're in a situation now where you have those two, and then after that, what starters do TFC have for next season? You have Insigne, you have Bernadeschi, you have Mark Anthony K, you have Michael Bradley? Um, do we want to call him a starter? I guess we are. And we have Lorea. Five. Five starters in a 11-man roster, plus you're gonna need some backup guys because we also are low on backup guys. So that is six starting level players that TFC needs to bring in for next season, which is a lot. And that's a huge transition, and then obviously when you have that much turnover in a roster one year to the next year, you start wondering about how long it's going to take the roster to gel at the beginning and the team to gel at the beginning of the next season. So a lot of question marks for TFC. Losing Chris Gito just adds another one, and like, again, so many question marks, so many needs that this wasn't the time to add another need, but... 
I mean, it is what it is. If Kushida wants to retire, you gotta let him retire. I wish him all the best in retirement. I heard that he wants to go back to Italy to take up coaching, so hopefully he does well in that regard. Be nice to have him come back to TFC a few years down the road as an assistant coach or something like that. But we're back where we are last season. The fullback hole needs to be filled. It's, it hasn't been fixed. It's just, it's like ring around the rosy. It's like the same issues have been plaguing this team for a couple of years now, and we haven't like filled them. It's weird. It's weird and like last season wasn't the right time for a one season plug. But I guess that's just kind of how it panned out. So that is it for this video. As always, if you like to hit like, if you want to see more stuff, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Link is down below in the description. And I will see you next time.